Okay, para i-start ang lot plotter, pwede nating i-search sa search bar ng uh, ating browser. Lot plotter. Yan. At lalabas yung link. Uh, Pag-click natin sa link, we will be presented with the lot plotter interface. Okay. So, meron tayong lot plotter dito sa browser at meron tayong lot data dito sa galing sa title. Okay. So, input natin yung province. Dito, province of Rizal. Then, municipality. And then, yung tie point ng lote. So, nasa yung tie point dito. Yan being sa, from BLBM number 1. Barrio of Kisao Municipality of Pililia. So let's f find that sa drop down. Yan BLBM number 1. Yan. Pagkatapos ay input na natin ang mga lines, bearings and distances. The first one, uh, bago yung lahat, uh, mag-click muna natin tong add corner. Ayan, and then uh, let's input the data dito sa itong type point to corner 1. Before that pala, ating isa-isahin itong uh, bawat uh, field, bawat field na nakadisplay dito. NS ay yung north-south direction. Ang deg ay degree. Ang min ay minutes. Ang EW ay east or west. Tapos ang distance ay of course in distance. So yung type point to corner 1, According sa ating title ay South 7 degrees 46 minutes east So type muna natin South 7 degrees 36, 46 minutes east Oops Ang distance ay 3462.39 3462.39 Okay Then let's add another line Yan, corner 1 to corner 2 Nakalagay dito ay North 36 degrees 24 minutes east So input that North 36 degrees 24 minutes east Ang distance ay 15.00 meters Add another corner And uh, we find South Ito yun, no? Uh, point 0.2 to point 0.3 so this is south 53 degrees 36 minutes and uh, east then 10.01 meters to point 0.3 10.01 meters add another corner that's uh, 3 to 4 so south 36 degrees south 36 degrees 21 minutes west distance i 15.00 meters the last one is north 53 degrees north 53 degrees 20 no 36 minutes west and uh, 10.02 meters to the point of beginning after we've completed that let's click done and then click yes okay so this is the plotting of the lot based dun sa technical description okay lang masyadong blank diba so what can we do there's an option here dito tong globe na to na pipili natin yung base map okay so, sa ngayon, naka-select yung none. But now, we will select uh, Google Map para ilabas yung satellite images. So, yan. So, yan. Itong point na to, itong origin, ay dito ang location ng BLBM number 1 of Barrio of Kisao. Yan yung tie point. Diyan yung tie point. Tapos, Dito yung location ng lote. Yan. As you can see, 
uh, it's almost there. Hindi siya eksakto, pero it's almost there. The purpose of this, anyway, is not to to get the exact, perfectly exact location of the lot, but uh, para makita yung vicinity. You know? Para kung gusto mo puntahan, naroon ka na, malapit ka na sa lote. Besides, ayon sa disclaimer, sabi dito, the output of this application is for viewing only and cannot be used for legal purposes. It is advised to seek assistance from a duly licensed judetic engineer or verify from the mandated agencies, LMB or LRA. So kung gusto nyong makita exacto, malocate exactly kung nasan yung mga points na yan sa lupa, then you need to hire a licensed licensed geodetic engineer. So, kung nakatulong itong ating session for today, uh, mag-comment lang po kayo. Then, click uh, like and subscribe. Thank you very much. So, may nakalimutan pala ako. Bale, itong lot plotter, meron siyang feature to export what you have uh, inputted and what you have seen dito sa mapa into two files so itong data na in-input natin can be exported to a CSV or comma delimited file tapos uh, also this will export the data itong uh, ating plotting this one into a KML file so that you can open the file in Google Earth Pro or MapsMe or uh, iba pang mga apps sa cellphone mo. Para kung gusto mong makita sa cellphone mo, you can. So, let's uh, try it. Let's press export. Ayan, and let's uh, give it a name. My lot in Pililia. Okay. Tama ba spelling? Teka, pangit, pangit. Pililia. Yeah. So, okay. And then, uh, save us natin. Save as uh, my lot. And then, save. This two, save as. And nasa my lot na. And then, my lot in Pililia. Save that. Okay, let's open the files. Oh, punta muna tayo sa folder. So, sa folder, merong dalawang files. Let's open the CSV file. So, ang CSV file ay ito lang. Isa siyang text file na comma delimited yung mga values. Yung data na nasa loob. This is essentially kung ano yung in-enter natin dito sa form. Yan. Later, if you want to if you have closed this and you want to view the lot again, pwede kang, pwede mong i-choose tong file na to and then upload the file and then it will be again displayed on the map. So, ito namang KML file. If we open that, it will be shown dito sa Google Earth Pro. Yan. Which is basically the same as what we saw dito sa display ng lot plotter. But this file is uh, portable sa, so that yun nga, pwede mong ilagay sa cellphone mo. At pwede mong daladalahin. At pwede mong makita sa, sa maging guide mo pag pupunta ka sa ground. So if you have any questions or comments, just write down on the comment box. Thanks.